Ever wondered how hackers penetrate systems? They do so through a process called pen testing, short for penetration testing. This is a legal and ethical hacking technique used to identify weaknesses in a system, network, or application. It's like a mock drill, where experts simulate real-life hacking scenarios to test the robustness of the system. But why is pen testing important, you ask? Well, it's a crucial part of cybersecurity. It helps organizations to understand their vulnerabilities before a malicious hacker exploits them. It's all about staying one step ahead of the game. And it's not just for tech giants or government agencies. Small businesses, educational institutions, and even individuals can benefit from understanding and applying pen testing. So, whether you're a seasoned tech professional or someone who's just curious about how things work behind the scenes, pen testing offers a fascinating insight. Ready to dive into the world of pen testing? Stick around to discover the steps involved. Before diving in, we need to understand the fundamental concepts. Let's kick things off with some key terms. First up, we have threat. A threat is anything that can exploit a vulnerability to breach security and cause harm. Think of it as a potential danger lurking in the shadows, waiting for a chance to strike. Next, we have vulnerability. This is a weakness or loophole in a system that can be exploited by a threat. It's like leaving your car unlocked with the keys inside. It's an open invitation for trouble. Then we come to risk. Risk is the potential for loss or damage when a threat exploits a vulnerability. It's the danger you're exposed to when that unlocked car is in a neighborhood known for car thefts. Moving on we have exploit. An exploit is a piece of software, chunk of data, or sequence of commands that takes advantage of a vulnerability to cause unintended behavior in a computer system. It's the thief using the keys left in your unlocked car to drive it away. Finally, there's payload. The payload is the part of an exploit that performs a malicious action. It's the actual act of the thief driving away with your car. Now let's talk about the different types of hackers. White hat hackers are the good guys. They use their skills for good, helping to find and fix vulnerabilities. Black hat hackers, on the other hand, are the villains of the story. They exploit vulnerabilities for personal or malicious intent, and then, there are gray hat hackers, who tread the line between the two. They might break the rules, but they generally do so with good intentions, like exposing a serious vulnerability to get it fixed. Now that we've got the basics down, we can start to explore the pen testing process. The process of pen testing can be broken down into five simple steps. Firstly, we have planning and reconnaissance. This is the stage where we gather as much information as possible about the target system. Think of it like a detective collecting clues before solving a mystery. This could involve understanding the network structure, identifying potential vulnerabilities, and even understanding the organization's business model and its employees. Next, we move on to scanning. Here we use various tools to understand how the target system responds to different intrusions. It's like knocking on doors to see who's home. This step helps us identify open ports, live systems, and various services running on the target. The third step is gaining access. This is where we exploit the vulnerabilities we've found. It's the equivalent of picking the locks and sneaking inside. We might use various methods such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, or even social engineering techniques. Once we're in we move to the fourth step, maintaining access. This is where we ensure that we can get back into the system. It's like leaving a window slightly ajar so we can slip back in unnoticed. This could involve installing backdoors, creating additional admin accounts, or even altering logs to cover our tracks. Finally, we arrive at analysis. This is where we document everything we've done and learned. We analyze the vulnerabilities we've exploited, the data we've accessed, and the overall security stance of the system. It's like writing a detailed report of our covert operation, highlighting the flaws, and suggesting improvements. Each of these steps plays a crucial role in ensuring a comprehensive pen test. Remember, pen testing isn't about breaking things for the fun of it. It's about uncovering weaknesses so they can be fixed. And that's what makes it such an essential part of cybersecurity today. So let's dive in and remember, always use your powers for good. A craftsman is only as good as his tools and the same applies to pen testers. In the world of pen testing, having the right tools can make all the difference between a successful penetration test and a failed one. So let's dive into some of the essential tools that every pen tester should know about. First up, we have Nmap, also known as Network Mapper. This is a free and open source tool that's used for network discovery and security auditing. 
Nmap is essentially the bread and butter of pen testing as it helps you find open ports and services running on a system, giving you a roadmap of where to focus your efforts. Next on the list is Wireshark. Think of it as a network packet analyzer, or a digital microscope for your network. It lets you see what's happening on your network at a microscopic level. Wireshark is widely used across many industries for network troubleshooting, analysis, software and communications protocol development, and education. Then we have Metasploit, a powerful exploit framework. It's like a Swiss army knife for pen testers, filled with ready-to-use exploits that you can use to test your systems. Metasploit simplifies network discovery and vulnerability verification, helping you to manage security assessments and improve awareness. Last but certainly not least is the Burp Suite. This is a web application security testing platform. It's designed for the hands-on tester and has many features to help you during your penetration testing process. Burp Suite allows you to map and analyze the attack surface of a web application, letting you understand where it might be vulnerable. Each of these tools serves a unique purpose and is crucial in the pen testing process. They'll help you dig deeper, understand better, and ultimately secure your systems more effectively. In conclusion, ethical hacking is a powerful tool for enhancing cybersecurity, but like any tool, it can be misused. As aspiring pen testers, it's crucial to understand the ethical considerations and legal implications involved. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So, let's use our hacking skills responsibly and contribute to making the digital world a safer place for everyone. So, we've covered a lot of ground today. We delved into the intriguing realm of pen testing, starting from understanding the basics. We emphasized the importance of familiarizing yourself with the core concepts, the language, and the methodology used in this field. From there, we moved on to the pen testing process itself. It's a systematic and meticulous approach that requires patience and precision. We discussed the essential tools for pen testing, highlighting the significance of selecting the right tools for the task at hand. But with great power comes great responsibility. Hence, we also delved into the ethical considerations and legal implications of pen testing. It's crucial to remember that while the thrill of hacking can be intoxicating, it's equally vital to respect the boundaries and use your skills ethically. With these insights, you're now ready to embark on your journey into the thrilling world of pen testing. Happy hacking and remember to stay ethical.